Hey everyone, this is the series premiere re review for Real Housewives of Potomac Season 1, Episode 1. And we actually start off with all the ladies, well two of the ladies, Karen and Katie, two of the Ks, <laughs> playing with balls. <laughs> what I mean by that is, uh, Karen was on a uh, golf course with her husband and she was playing golf, well attempting to, and Katie was playing tennis. And she might have been playing it with Robin. I'm not sure. But, and of course, the ep episode is titled, Mind Your Manners. So, let's get into this. We really started off with Giselle, who's going to be everyone's favorite. I mean, I, I already see it coming. Because she's very relatable to a lot of people. And she's also very funny. So, that's a great combination. Especially when you have to deal with uh, women who appear to be not uppity, but more reserved in certain ways. And, you know, kind of like, oh, 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 oh. so, yeah, we have that. And Giselle is just talking about how she's actually a legacy. Her, um, her father or her grandfather, who it was, might have been her father, uh, did a lot of civil rights work with Dr. Martin Luther King. And so, of course... She wants to keep that legacy going. And so, she's an ex, as in an ex-wife. And her husband, you know, he cheated multiple times. And so, she took her three girls and was like, you know what? Taking our butts back to Potomac. And so, she's there doing it for herself. And she really hated the hoity-toity, upper-crust type of uh, mentality. And so... Her basic stance is, I live here, but I refuse to let the, this society change me or put me back in a box. I'm going to do whatever I want, whenever I want, and say how I feel, and how I talk is however I talk. They're just going to have to deal with it. So, Katie, she's with a white guy, and I'm not sure if he himself is also Jewish, but... She likes white Jewish men, except for Russell Simmons. If it's Russell Simmons, then that she'll give that a pass, because he's a vegan. <laughs> no, but yeah, so she has, I believe, three kids as well. It's like, all of them have three kids. Uh, a bunch of them have three kids. And her kids, of course, are super cute. And her husband also cheated, so she left him. And right now, she's dating. And, of course, she wants her boyfriend to marry her. And so, she's trying to figure out. When are they going to do that? She's also a legacy and she's a socialite and she's been doing a lot to, she was essentially saying how when she was growing up, she actually went to different soirees and all that type of stuff. And so it was basically like going to a turned up version of a prom every night. And so it's like, all right, we get it. We get it. Can't relate to it, but we get it. Then we get to Robin. She's running her own business, and she's divorced from her husband. But her husband actually still lives with her and the kids because it works for them. And again, this is more so a new normal type of thing where it's not uncommon for people who get divorced nowadays to still live with their significant other. And in some cases, even sleep in the same bedroom. And in some cases, take their clothes off and have sex with each other. And so... And so it's like, all right, it's all right. So she invites Grace, sorry, not Grace, Giselle over. And Giselle's like, okay, what's that? It's a box. It has my um wedding dress in it. And it's like, I'm actually going to sell it. So like, why are you going to sell it? It's like, well, it's, it doesn't have any sons. So where's it going to go? It's like, okay, true. So Giselle's like, put it on one last time, put it on. So then she's like, all right, I'll put it on. And of course she's modeling it. And she's like, all right. Don't take it from the back, because the back is open, it can't fit, but, um, so she sits down, and again, they talk, and as I told you, she's also another one that doesn't conform to the, tr the traditional Potomac, um, hoity-toity, and so that's why her and Giselle get along, Robin and her, and, uh, I mean Giselle and Robin, why they get along, and... It's interesting because then you see her husband come, her ex-husband come in. And he's like, 
It's like, what are you guys doing? And she's like, oh, it's like, take it off. Take, take, oh, just take it off. And so then, just was like, maybe you just need to take everything off and walk around the house. I'm sure he'll forget all about this if you go and do that. And so then we get to Karen, who's like the creme de la creme of the group. She's kind of like the Mariah of the group, where she's supposed to be the HBIC. And so, you could tell she carries herself a certain way. And it's funny, because she used to be a farmer's, well, she is a farmer's daughter. That's where she came from. And then she married the Black Bill Gates. That's who she married. He is the Black Bill Gates. And that's how she references him to everyone. And so then her and Giselle, they go out and they... And I say go out. They go to Giselle's house. She goes to Giselle's house. And Giselle is basically like, you know what? Her and Karen, they don't see eye to eye on everything or even a lot. But Karen was one of those people that actually um, accepted her when she came back because there aren't many black people in Pasay, Pacomic, Pacomic, whatever it's called. And so she accepted her and she really appreciated that. And so, of course, she's uh, Karen's birthday's coming up. So it's like, all right, what are you doing for your birthday? This and that. General chit chat. So then after that, we get to where the birthday party, the little quaint birthday party is being held, which is her and the girls. And everyone's there, you know, Robin, Katie, Giselle, uh, Karen, and all that. And it's like this family-friendly burlesque type of place. And I told you, Karen's essentially like, uh, no, sorry. Giselle's essentially like, Katie's one of those where she only dates white men. Oh, and Russell Simmons. <laughs> and so then, the birthday girl eventually shows up and we have, what's her name? Shamia? Shamika? Shamita? Whatever her name is. The woman who's Married to the basketball coach, and they're not in town. He's not in town. And so Karen finally shows up, and they have this whole controversy because of the fact that Karen, that Giselle was in the middle, and Karen was like, you know, it's proper etiquette for Katie, uh, coach's wife, and even uh, Karen, like, it's proper etiquette to move and let the host or the main person sit in the center. And, you know, that is true. It's kind of like when you're sitting at a table and whoever is the head of the household or head of the party or the function normally would sit at the helm of the table. But... <sighs> These women, with the exception of Robin and Giselle, for now... Not Giselle for now. Giselle and I think Robin will be cool as well. The rest of them might get on my nerves, which is fine because that's entertainment right there. So, you know, they go and they do the speech. But before the speech, uh, Shanice, whatever her name is, the CH girl, I'll know her name by next week. I'm sorry if that was disrespectful. But she is basically like, you know what? My husband, he works, and he's at the, um, he's in New Jersey. That's where he's actually living. And so everyone's like, so why aren't you there? Or why isn't he here? What's going on? And she's like, you know, this actually works for me. And everyone's like, all right, girl. All right, girl. Whenever you say, girl. For now, girl. No hang, girl. But, but yeah, so... Uh, Karen takes over and interjects and they're both, they're still looking at her like, this is some BS. But they go and they do the speech and it's all really nice. And, uh, everyone's showing love to Karen and so she appreciates it. And we'll see how fake and phony that all is coming up later. And so, uh, 
that seems irrelevant. And everyone's walking up to, um, what's her name? Shanice's house, whatever her name is. And they're actually, hold on one second. I want to make sure I get her name because this is bugging me right now. So hold on. Sharice, that's her name, and it's Potomac. So anyway, yeah. So Giselle and her chef slash makeup artist or whatever, two in one deal. I, I don't know, but he shows up, they show up and to help out Sharice and they're cooking crabs. And you know what? Because she's the hostess, uh, Sharice is going to go upstairs while they cook crabs for her. And it's just like, but before that, we get to this quick little scene where Katie is talking with her boyfriend. He's, she's just like, he's so good with the kids. But you know why I really love him? Because he's so good with money. <laughs> no, but I'm really serious. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So then after that, we get to um, back to Sharice. And <laughs> Giselle's friend was like, girl, why are your legs so open? And uh, what did Sharice say? Sharice was like, well, because what did Sharice say? I forgot what Sharice said, but whatever it was, she ran upstairs afterwards. And so then they're going through her stuff and they're making sexual reference jokes because her husband isn't around. So it's like, oh, she must use this long thing very often. <laughs> and so, and so then they're going and they're messing around in her kitchen, uh, looking up stuff. And then her, uh, assistant, in-house maid or whatever comes in and they're joking around with her. You know, she's not trying to lose her job. So she's like, oh my gosh, no, don't bring into that. Don't ask me no questions. So tell me no lies um, type of thing. But they're just joking around. She's like, I can't believe I've never had people like this in my home. And they're like, are they coming up the stairs? But I do understand this part. How are you going to have that guy also come up the stairs. I didn't think that was very appropriate myself. Uh, Giselle, absolutely not an issue because they're supposed to be friends. So that's not a big deal. But the guy as well. But I remember jokingly, they said, oh yeah, she needs her hair done too. But I guess she thought it was good looking out because her friend just disappeared and wasn't really sure what she was doing upstairs. But anyway, so then Giselle gets the honor job of doing, uh, greeting everyone and being around everyone. And so then at one point she ends up outside with Katie and, no, Karen and this other woman, excuse me, and this other woman is like, well, this is Sharice's event. So what's the issue? Whatever she needs you to do, why are you having such a issue? You realize this isn't about you. And so then that's what Karen was saying. So then the other person was like, I'm going to check in on Cherise. And so Karen hands uh, Giselle a little frame that has five rules for etiquette. You know what? That's the type of friend I don't need in my life. How about that? That's the type of friend that you keep over there. Because she's doing too much. And I know that this is authentic. That's the worst part. That she, this is really authentic. And so then... The other woman goes up to talk to Sharice, and Sharice is like, yeah, I said what I said, and I meant it, basically. And it was like, yeah, they came in my house acting a certain way. Uh, the guy wasn't invited and all this stuff. And so then Giselle was basically like, I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Oh, this has a mirror. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so then uh, Karen storms off because it's like, I'm just not going to deal with you anymore. I'm not going to deal with you. And so it's like, okay, bye. So this season, this series, I like it because it feels refreshing. It feels like something we've never seen on TV yet. These are women with real money. I'm not talking about, oh, I have a couple of million, have a couple of million. These women are from legacies and they themselves and people that they have around them and people in their families are people who have hundreds of millions, billions of dollars. So whatever they're doing 
is how they feel. They're not doing this just to get attention. So I love it. So please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, I do apologize if this review came off as, um, what do you call it? If my energy dropped at certain points because it's almost 3.15 in the morning and I have work in a couple of hours and I just reviewed a couple of other shows. And so, yeah. So if you didn't think the energy was right or maybe you thought I was doing too much, again, a little bit tired, so I may might have been overdoing it. Uh, let me know. Either way, I'm probably not going to change the thing. No, I'm kidding. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week. Thanks.